Hey guys, so this is day one of what my face looks like after microneedling. As you can see, I'm really, really red, just showing you guys what my skin looks like. I was in too much pain to say anything, so yeah, this is day one. Okay guys, so this is the morning after I got my microneedling done. As you can see, I'm definitely red. <laughs> I'm definitely, like, I feel a little swollen as well. Nothing too crazy. It's very normal, especially if you see my other videos. This is basically how I look like um, after I get my microneedling done. So this is what it looks like. I will zoom you in. You can see some right here, a little bruising right here, a little bit of my cheeks right here. But don't worry, after a few days that should really um, be completely gone and I will keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so this is day two night. I just washed my face. So this is truly what my skin looks like. I'm gonna bring you guys up a little bit closer. Definitely see some bruising here, 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 redness, dryness. There's a lot of patching going on my nose. And a lot of dryness right here. And that's also because they put um, a retinol serum. So that is going to kind of shed all of my dead skin. And they gave me this mask. Oh, hold on, let me show you. They gave me this mask. It's basically like a moisturizing, um, illuminating type mask. And I put it in the fridge. And so tonight, like right now, after I film this, I'm going to put this on my face and then I'm going to put a moisturizer on. So for yesterday and today, I'm not putting any sort of serums on, nothing, just a moisturizer. And then tonight I'm putting this face mask on and then a moisturizer afterwards. And then starting tomorrow, actually, I'm going to start using my retinol that I have because after you get microneedling done, the pores on your face are open. So anything that you put on your face, it's going to be absorbed like 10 times, I don't know about 100 times, I was about to say 100 times, but at least 10 times more. So then it's really good to put in good ingredients on your face after you get microneedling done. Because it is a retinol, they said to put it on two to three days after uh, my microneedling treatment. My skin can take a lot, um, so I'm going to um, put the, what is it called? the retinol tomorrow night and I will show you guys what my skin looks like looks and I will show you guys what my skin looks like tomorrow morning. Sheet mask time. Hey guys, so right now it is day three morning and this is what my face looks like. I already washed my face, I already moisturized. Obviously it is getting a lot better than day one. <laughs> But you can definitely tell the redness right here. I have some dark spots from um, some acne that I got just around the time of my period. A little redness here. You can definitely tell that the pores are getting smaller. And of course, I'm peeling. Let me see if I can show you that. Maybe not. My skin actually doesn't look too bad when I'm doing it like this, maybe because of like the lighting or whatnot. But this is what my skin looks like. Oh, there's an eyelash on my eye. I'm definitely, I'm talking to you guys like this more for some reason. I'm definitely peeling. Um, I already put moisturizer on, so you can't really tell uh, where my patch, where my patches are, but there were some right here around my nose was really dry. I'm kind of excited because tonight I'm actually going to be putting on my retinol. Um, so I will see you guys tonight when I show you guys what my skin looks like day three night. And then I will show you guys what retinol I put on as well as my moisturizer. I feel like I didn't show you guys what moisturizer I'm putting on. It's very, very simple, I guess, hopefully. <laughs> I think it's simple, but it's very moisturizing, very nourishing. Um, I'm usually oily combination skin. And so I have like a gel moisturizer for like day to day basis, but because microneedling really dries your skin out, I am using a thicker moisturizer. So definitely keep that in mind. If you are oily combination skin and you're getting microneedling done, definitely go out and buy 
um, a thicker moisturizer because you will need it because your skin will dry up and you're gonna yeah no especially with quarantine I'm very happy because I don't have to put any makeup on so I'm very happy about that so if you guys can go get microneedling done during um quarantine do that also I did not mention but I am going to be putting on sunscreen um I will show you guys that in a bit actually just show you guys right now I'm not going to put on right now because I'm going to let the moisturizer really sink into my um skin skin why is it like that skin and i'm gonna let it just sit there for like 20 minutes before i put the sunscreen on just because i don't want it to clump up it's already dry i don't want any patches to like occur on my skin the sunscreen that i'm using is from Waso shiseido it's our color smart it says color smart day moisturizer oil free but it is not moisturizing whatsoever um, it is very cool though so when i do put the sunscreen on i will show you guys how i put it on and it's color smart so basically um when it comes out of the tube it is green and then when it comes when it like touches your face it turns to the skin tone of your face it is actually pretty cool and i'm excited to show this guy show this little guy to you but yes this is the sunscreen that i use um i will see you guys in a bit hey guys so this is day three night you can definitely or i don't know if you can but i can definitely tell what my skin is healing but there are darker areas or my like my forehead is a bit darker than it usually is you can still see the redness, um, my forehead, my cheek area, a lot, I mean, obviously a lot better than like day one and day two, but it's definitely still there. I am getting peeling. So like, can you see that right here? Oh yeah, right there. I'm definitely peeling. And I'm excited because I'm going to be putting retinol on my face for the first time. So let me show you guys what I actually use at night. For my face wash, I use Beyond Glow. They actually sent me like a whole kit of all of their skincare. And it is botanical skincare. It's really, really good. I genuinely love this stuff. The retinol that I'm going to be using is Drunk Elephant. This is like my first retinol that I've, that I've ever used. So I'm excited to see if this looks, if this works well or not. And this is the moisturizer that I use. It is Sephora's Hydrate and Repair. Um, it's pretty thick. I'm just warning you if you guys have oily skin. I have oily skin, but I'm using it obviously for microneedling, um, after microneedling. Um, so this is pretty thick. It's very moisturizing. I genuinely really like this stuff. And as for the serum, I use Dermalogica. This is their overnight repair serum. And this stuff is really good and really hydrating. Um, and kind of, I feel personally helps the healing process after microneedling. So that is what I use at night. Hey guys, it is the night of day four. And this is what my skin currently looks like. It definitely is still quite, I wouldn't say red. I would say pink. Um, you can definitely tell my skin tone difference from like where the microneedling happened versus my neck. Um, I am still bruised up on my forehead and various places all over my face. I am still peeling. So my face is really tight, really dry, even though I did moisturize a lot this morning. Um, but that's just part of the healing process, to be honest. Like, it always feels like this whenever I get microneedling done. I think this is my 16th, yeah, 16th session um, over the last, I want to say three and a half years. And I wanted to just pop up here and show you guys what my skin looks like for reference. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day five. For people asking for a close up, I will do a close up now. So my forehead looks like. My cheek, you can definitely tell that they did do a number on me. Other cheek and my chin. Hey guys, so this is day five and this is what my skin looks like after microneedling. I'll give you a little close up here. Hey 
Doesn't it look so much better? So my pores have diminished. My, oh, sorry for that noise. My bathroom is making some weird noises right now. Um, my dark spots have diminished as well. The reason why I am a little oily slash shiny, whatever you want to call it, is because on top of my moisturizer, I put on the Dermalogica oil that you'll either have already seen or will see in a future video or in this video, I don't know. But that is what's causing me to look a little bit more shiny slash oily. But it's a glow and I'm okay with that. Um, but I think my skin looks really, really nice. It is going to get better as days progress. I am doing a shoot this weekend, so I will finally be putting on makeup. They say not to put makeup on um, for 28, or sorry, 28, 24 to 48 hours after microneedling, but I like to keep it as makeup free for as many days as possible. And tomorrow I just have to do some um, pictures for brands and my own stuff. I just have to get some shooting done, so I will be putting on makeup. But this is day five. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my skin progress throughout the days after microneedling. If you guys have any further questions about microneedling, as I've gotten it done, what, like 18 times now? I know what I know a thing or two, so leave your questions down below. I will definitely try to reply to all of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It take, took me like five days to make this video, so please, please like this video, share, comment, all the good stuff, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. Hey guys, day seven, and this is what my skin looks like currently. So we give you a close up. Um, definitely still dry, um, but it does look like that my face is less red and I can definitely see the pores have shrunk, um, texture has gone away a little bit and it looks more bright in general. I did put some dark spot patches here and here just because it's day six so might as well, you know, put some treatment on the areas that I need, but this is what my skin looks like and I'm very, very happy with it.